What I'm going to do today is take off this front tire and the rear tire. So in order to take off the front tire, we need to first take off the brake caliper. And that is going to be a 12 millimeter socket. You don't need to disconnect the battery or anything for this job. Okay, this come out nice and easy. I'm gonna get myself a bungee cord because you don't, once this is loose, you don't want it hanging because you're gonna pressure on this. So I'm gonna get a bungee cord and wrap it up somehow. Okay. Typical bungee cord. Let's finish removing these bolts. And that's it. Slide it off. Be better a little bit away from it. Stay like that. Now's a good time to check your brake pads. Um, now to take off the tire, you need to remove this axle nut here. And this is a 24 millimeter bolt. So, let me find where that thing is. I just bought it, and you're gonna need a breaker bar also to take this off. On the other side, I believe it's a 19. Okay, so I got my 24 millimeter socket with the breaker bar on this side, and I believe it's a 19 on this side. I don't think it spins. I'm just gonna hold it there anyways, just in case. That seems pretty good. Oh, look at that. That came out, no problem. Awesome. Now you can see that there's a washer that comes onto this side. So remember to put that back on when you, when you regroup. Now, once you loosen this one, it'll unscrew from here and it'll come all the way through and then you've got to support the tire while you're pulling it out. So I'm just gonna loosen this first. Before I jack it all the way up. Okay, then you've got a pinch bolt down here that you've also got to loosen. Once you unbuckle this part, okay, that pinch bolt is a six millimeter Allen wrench. So loosen that. Ah. Woo! That took some effort. Okay, now that that's loosened, I believe. We just pop this out because I'm unscrewing it. It's not actually unscrewing anything. So I'm going to refer to my uh, the Haynes uh, service manual. Make sure I did everything right. Support the motorcycle and auxiliary stance so with the front wheels off the ground. Let's make sure the grip uh, dis displaced the front brake caliper. Support it with a piece of wire or bungee cord. On models with a cable driven speedometer, undo the screw, which I don't have on this one. But if you had a speedometer cable, you would want to un, um, detach that. Unscrew the, and remove the axle nut and its washer, which we did already. Slacken the axle clamp bolt on the bottom, which we did. That was that Allen pinch bolt. <coughs> and I guess you should have done that before. Step five, support the wheel, then withdraw the axle from the right side stand and remove the wheel. So with that, I've just got an ordinary piece of wood. I'm gonna jack up the tire a bit. Let me jack up the motorcycle a little bit more. So it's off the ground. And then I'm just gonna tap this.
okay? And just ordinary piece of wood, whatever you've got around. You just don't want to damage this part. <coughs> okay, so now, as you remove the axle, you want to <coughs> support the support the wheel. Now let's see if this is going to Okay. I'm just pulling that right out. And there it is. There's your axle. When you put this on, you're going to want to put some lithium grease on there. So, <coughs> on the disc brake side, this is the the hub that comes out that sits against that bearing here like this. So disc brake side, make sure you replace that. You want to, going to want to grease it up, of course. And then on the other side, you've got another hub here, which you just pull out. It's a little bit smaller, and also you're going to want to grease that. You can see there's some nice grease on there already from the last time. Now that is it as far as removal. <clears throat> what I am going to do is I want to paint these rims satin flat black. But in order to do that, I have to take the tire off, take off this <clears throat> disc brake, brake disc, and then I have to unscrew all of these spokes in order to just have them be able to paint this solid. Because I want to keep the, keep the spokes chrome and this black, and it's going to look really nice. My hubs are already black, so that's cool. <clears throat> it's going to look real sharp. Now I just need to take this to the auto body shop, the tire guys, and uh, have them remove this for me, and we can get started. And don't remember, don't lay the tire down on the disc side. Instead, try and get a couple of blocks, one on each side, and let it hover above so that you don't uh, warp this in any way. All right, that's it for the front tire. Okay, so to remove the rear wheel, You've got to first remove the brake caliper just like we did with the uh, front wheel. And I'm just going to take some photos here so that if I screw anything up, I know what it looked like before I did it. And trust me, that <laughs> that is probably one of the Hardest lessons I learned since beginning to start doing my own my own mechanics work, which I love doing. It's a lot of fun. You just have to um, you just better remember where everything went before you took it off. Okay, so that's done. So again, that's probably a 12 millimeter bolt to take off that caliper. Let's do that. No, this one's larger. That might be a 14 or a 13. Okay, so 14 mil. That's what that is. Now you can't see, but The caliper is attached to a bracket. It's here. That big metal piece right here. And when you take off the caliper, or when you take off the wheel, be careful that that doesn't fall to the ground. Because it could... Okay, so that's off. Rear brakes are look brand new. So those are your two bolts. Now what I should have done, I should have had this ready before I took this caliper off. But it's not gonna hurt it very much. I'm just gonna use a piece of string to keep it level, almost where it's supposed to be if it was tied down. There. So, that's the brake caliper. Now, let's remove the, what do we do next? 
unscrew the axle nut, which is on the other side, and we're fitting and remove the washer. Turn the chain adjusters in to provide some slack on the chain. Support the wheel, then withdraw the axle and lower the wheel. So again, remove the axle nut, tap it in. This will come out and um, you know support the wheel again. So let's do that. So this is coming out pretty easily. Well, as you can see, I'm turning this side, but this side will be spinning, so that's not good. So what we're going to do there, I think I have another socket. Keep this here to keep it from spinning, and we'll spin this nut off. And the nut on this chain side has a washer. So you'll see that there. 24 mil and then the washer. I'm gonna screw these bolts right back into the bracket. So that I know where they went. When I go to put them back on again. with both tires off for me anyway you're kind of nervous having all of those parts floating around thinking that in seven days from now whenever I get the bike back from the paint shop that I remember where everything went okay so another one here a little tricky. Okay. So now I know that they're there. I won't lose them. It'll make me happy. Okay. So again, we're going to tap out the uh, the axle with a hammer and a piece of wood. Okay, so I tapped out the rear axle. It's a lot bigger than the front one. So when you put them back on, there shouldn't be any confusion. It's longer. Take the tire off. Now on the driver's, on the uh, disc brake side, you've got this washer here, little bearings. And on the other side, you pull the other side off and you've got this shorter one. And that's it, you're going to put these away. <clears throat> Another time. And that's it, you've got your rear tire off. Now to send off to the auto parts uh, shop, to the tire guys, and uh, have them remove this for me. Alright, thanks for watching. Hope it was helpful.